Hello friends, in this video we will see a few basic commands used in Linux. We will right click and create, uh, open a console. So you can also go to a start menu or the kickoff uh, application launcher and you can say you can say terminal. So you get console here or you can right click and get console here. So you can type ls. So it should be a, a small letter. ls. So ls is a command. So before getting into ls, we'll see pwd. This is print working directory. It will give you the current directory which you are in. So print working directory gives slash home slash mac. So we have one more command, it's a, that is ls command, it's list command. So it will list all the files and folders in the current directory. You can see, so it shows all the folders, but it's not showing all the folders actually. Uh, it's not showing the hidden files. To see all the files, including the hidden files, you have to say ls minus a. So now you can see, there are more files in the directory. I'll say clear. So you can use up arrow to the previously used command, up arrow, down arrow to use any commands which is already used. So I say ls minus e, you can see these are all the files and directories. You can see these are directories which are in blue in color. So it, this color scheme depend from uh, Linux versions, uh, one Linux version to other Linux versions, these color schemes. But this is file and again this is file, you can see. You can also test using this command file and select this see you have to select this and you don't have to right click or uh, right click and copy you have to select this and come here and use your mouse uh, scroll button uh, click the scroll button so it it gets pasted you say file and press enter it says it's an ascii file again you see select this and say file so pictures is a directory so this way you can identify using a command so ls minus a will give you, uh, will list all the files in the current directory. Clear will clear the screen. Okay, I say ls minus a. So it lists everything. I'll do clear again. So you can see, you can see I'm using up arrow key to go through the commands. So I clear. So I'll say ls minus a l this time. So I'll say ls minus l first. So it will show you all the fo folders. Uh, it will not show you the hidden folders. Uh, it show only the regular folders, but it show as a long listing. You can see it's showing as a long listing, and it shows what are the permissions on the files. We'll talk about permissions in a different video. So, what is, what is, who, who is the owner of the file? So, who is the, what is, which group the file belongs to? And it also says the modified date or the created date, modified date, and the folder name. So this also shows, the, you can see these two files are created by user root and it belongs to a user root group. So this way we can uh, do a long listing. I do clear again. I can say ls minus al or la. So you can give options any way you want. It does, it's not uh, compulsory that you get al or la. So this time it gives all the folders and files which are hidden files or which are hidden folders, everything will be displayed. So this is a long listing. So ls minus al or ls minus l will give you the long listing. So we saw list command, ls command and pwd command. We'll see cd command. So I'll create some, uh, we'll, before that we'll create some directory. I'll say mkdir. I'll say India. Okay, okay, we'll say first mkdir asia. Okay, we'll do a cd command to change my directory to, I say as asia. I'll do as and type tab, so it automatically completes the folder name. I'll say make directory india. I'll say again say cd i and so I'll say tab. So it completes the command for me completes the directory name. I now I'm in C W. Uh, you can see if I say P W D, it will say I'm in slash home slash mac slash asia slash india. 
आई कैन डू अ मेक डायरेक्टरी कमांड आ गया नेम के डी आई आर आई कैन से कर्नाटका आई कैन से सी डी कर्नाटका के ये एंड टैब सो आई डोंट टाइप कंप्लीट वर्ड सो दिस इज द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ लिनक्स कमांड टर्मिनल सो आई कैन यूज इफ आई सी प्रिंट वर्किंग डायरेक्टरी शोज स्लैश होम स्लैश एशिया स्लैश इंडिया स्लैश कर्नाटका सो आई कैन क्रिएट वन मोर डायरेक्टरी एम के डी आई आई आर बैंगलोर आई कैन से सी डी बैंगलोर सो चेंज डायरेक्टरी टू बैंगलोर आई कैन से मेक डायरेक्टरी यलाहंका सो आई टू गो बैक वन डायरेक्टरी आई से पीडब्ल्यू पी डी It's uh, prints the working directory. I can say one direct. I can go one directory back. Pressing dot dot. Cd dot dot means the meaning of dot dot is the previous directory. So now we are in Bangalore directory. We'll go to Karnataka directory. You can see it shows Karnataka here. So the last directory. Again, if I do cd dot dot, it goes to India directory. If I do cd dot, it goes to Asia directory. If I do cd dot dot, it goes to my home directory. That is slash. You can see what is the home directory? Slash home slash Mac. so i'll create i'll go to asia again i'll go to asia folder again cd india okay so pwd you can see i created now if i create one more directory i i'll list here i'll do ls here you can see there's karnataka karnataka if i do one more mkdir I'll do Delhi, C Delhi. I can do M K D I R. Uh, I can type Birla Mandir. Uh, I'll write Birla inside Delhi. So now, if I want to go to, uh, I'll say P W D. So it's slash home slash max slash Asia slash India slash Delhi. so if i want to i can go to birla folder now so if i want to go to directly the bangalore folder i can say cd slash home mac asia india karnataka bangalore i can go this way okay so now if i want to go back to birla i can say cd hyphen so previous directory okay this was the directory which was i've in early it was not the one directory above so if i want to go to bangalore directory again i can say cd dot dot slash so that we have gone to delhi directory now dot dot takes to delhi directory and dot dot again takes to india directory and i can say slash ka karnataka i can type tab i can say bangalore and i See now we go to Bangalore directory. This way we can use a relative path. That is going to directories back. That is cd dot dot slash. So now we are in Karnataka directory. Uh, when I do dot dot, it goes to Karnataka directory. I do dot dot, it goes to India directory. I say Delhi, Birla. You can see. So I can change the directory like this using a relative path, or I can give absolute path. I can say cd slash home. mac asia india delhi okay it's already in delhi directory you can see karnataka bangalore so this way i can use the complete path and change the path so these are like uh, we can use either a, a relative path or absolute path to change my directory from one is to other so command completion is if i want to type some command mk di if i say tab i get options how can i complete the command so r so i can do like this i can also say passw is a tab you see it automatically completes the command for me see see if it has a dilemma it gives an option to you you can use password command you can also use cd dot dot slash dot dot slash you can see it, i i press only d 
if there is no dilemma it directly gives delhi and if i say tab again it gives birla so this way it, the command completion uh, takes place automatically here so cd dot dot gives the previous directory cd dot is the same directory it will not change the directory dot is the current directory and dot dot is the previous directory i can move files for example i'll go to cd slash home mac asia india karnataka bangalore okay i'll create a file here i can use touch command touch file 1 okay we created file 1 in the folder pwd ld in this folder we created a file touch uh, sorry file 1 using touch command so if i want to copy this file i can kcp file i can say going one folder behind again one folder folder behind delhi birla so if i copy that you can see ls here also one file is there okay in the bangalore directory if i say ls slash home mac asia india delhi birla you can see there also one file is there so two copies of file is there so if i say move i mean currently i'm in bangalore directory i say mv file to dot slash that is current directory after that current directory we have a bangalore directory sorry yelahanka directory because we already in uh, so I can move the file from Bangalore directory to Elanka directory from current folder. Like I don't have to give complete path. I'm using a relative path from current directory. We have a Elanka folder. I copy. So you see ls, it will not be there. If you go to cd Elanka uh, folder and you do ls, so you'll find the file there. If you want to, if you move the file in the same directory, file one. If I say file two. Are the same file okay so i have to change the name so i can do like this when i do a ls it says it changes the name of the file it renames the file so mv can be used to rename the file whenever you change the uh, move the file from same directory to from one directory to the same directory the name of the file is changed you can rename the file if you use a different for example you have file 2 now so if you use dot slash okay you can use dot dot to the previous directory so now ls there is no file here cd dot dot we go one directory up and we do ls we can find that file to here so this way we can use a relative path or anything to use mv is used to move the file if you want to copy the file you can use a cp command you can also copy the folder so what happens if you copy the folder you have to use a cp minus capital R to copy the complete folders for example I'll I have file here I'll move this file to Yelhanka folder so now if I want to copy the Yelhanka folder if I say cp Yelhanka to slash home mac asia india delhi birla if I want to copy this Yelhanka folder to birla so it says omitting directory so whenever there are files inside the folder you cannot copy like this so what you have to do is you have to add a minus r option so it will copy the entire files inside the yelahanka directory so now if you would say ll or ls ll is nothing but ls minus al it's an alias we'll see alias later so if i check the so you can see yelahanka file is here if I say Yahanka, it's in Birla. So you can copy the entire directory using minus R option with the copy. Or if you use a move option, uh, you see now you can have, you can see ls slash home, mac, asia, india, karnataka, bangalore. You can see the Elanka folder here because we have just copied it. If you do a move here, so you can see if I say control E, the cursor goes to last. Control A, the cursor com comes to first. If, then I can delete this and say MV. And I can move the complete Bangalore folder to slash home Mac Asia. So if I say LS slash home Mac Asia, you can see the Bangalore folder is being moved from there. And you cannot find in the Karnataka directory. So 
we can move the uh, folder completely. So when we copy the folder, we have to use a minus R option to copy all the files inside the folder. So this way we can uh, use move command and copy command. So if you do exit, it will exit out of the uh, account. It will exit the terminal. Okay. So this way we can use a few basic commands in Linux. So we will see more in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video.